hello friends welcome to this module in this module we will be learning about the property concept in java and why these properties files are important when we are developing selenium framework the advantages will be taking at the later stage for let's study how we can implement this properties concept okay let's make a new java project <coughs> Uh, property concept okay that's my project name and under this I will make a new package name it as test package okay and under this I will make a new class and I will name it as learning property okay and I will include not I will include at the retest annotation okay and uh, let's create the test here the function name may be public void test property will be my test name okay let me include my test ng library and also the annotations okay and save it okay this is my class in this class i will be implementing how the property file can be used before using it let's first create a property file for creating it go to your project path click on new other on click on this file option and give a name for example config dot properties okay so this will be the file config dot properties this config dot properties file store data in key and value pairs that is suppose my name is webhub okay url is http google.com okay browser would be mozilla version is 4.1 okay and let's save it so it's the name is key and its value is web of so in the properties file it save as key value key value key value okay now for using this property we need to first make a properties object okay sorry that is properties object and I will name it property as my object name for the class okay and if I want to fetch data from this property so I need to write property dot get get property and string key string key means from which key you want to get the value suppose I want to get the name key okay, okay. and it should be a text value okay so also keep one thing in mind that in this config dot properties everything is a string this 4.1 is neither an int not a double not a float it is an integer it's not an integer value it's a string value so it will be reading it as a string here okay so what we have done we have created a property file and we are getting the data from this property file whose key is name that is the value of web hub will be print put here and I will print this out okay till now it's good but there is one thing we are getting the data from this file but this property does not know the location where the file is located okay so we will create an input stream reader okay for getting that file okay or telling the property where the file located is situated so I will write input stream input stream reader okay fs and I will write fs is equals to new input stream reader and the path okay where the file is located now this file is located first we need to go the project path and to this path 
we already know the project path can be get by system dot get property okay and user dot dir so this will give me the path of my project current project and after this I want to go to this properties file okay then I so I will write here plus in java view double slashes the file would be config dot properties okay and that's all so I have tell that the input frames reader and which is pointing to this file okay it's giving an error uh, it's saying input stream press Let's give me an error. Mm. Input stream, input file, I think the name is input input stream. Yeah, I think it is input stream. Uh, let me check. Uh, just a second, guys. Let me check in my framework. Uh, just a second. Oh, sorry. File input stream. I was using the wrong file input stream. This is my class. So I will make a stream okay and instead of this okay now it's asking me to throw an exception okay yeah. okay now the error is gone so I was using the wrong class name so now if I go here and we write property dot you will see a function load if you check this what it says read a property list from the input byte stream so I need to load this file first load a file with input stream for which I have made this object okay that is fs so and it is also throwing an error okay so what we have done we had first make an object fs which is pointing to this file now we have told the property to load this file to work on this file we have given path of this file and we have asked it to load this file and then from this property file we are extracting the value whose key name is uh, name okay and let's print it the output should be web hub let's see run this test ng test and it failed mm. oh sorry I skipped one thing <laughs> uh, I have not initialized this variable so I have to initialize also I have to write properties is equals to new properties okay so that's why it will be giving a null exception because I have not initialized it now let's see run this yeah so the test passed and yeah it has printed me web up suppose now I want to print the version okay so I will write system dot out print ln property dot get property and its version. Okay. Now let's save this and run this as test ng test and it has printed me web up and then the version. Okay. 
so this is how we can implement the properties why now there will be one question which will be striking in your mind that why we have used this property file I would have declared one Java file and would have written the values there okay and I should have used them here why need of this unnecessary creating the concept of properties file the reason is that properties file is used in which we can write the configurational items okay suppose uh, if this was a Java file and I have given you this bulk I have given you this project okay so in the project suppose you want to change some location or some password or suppose you anything so if you just update this suppose if I write here 1.2 and I save this and I run this okay so let's see what the value is value is 4.2 while if it, it has been a dot class file then after updating would it I would first need to generate its class file that I need to compile that Java file only then it can be implemented as 4.2 in my project while when I'm using the config dot properties just update it and save it and run it so this is the best part of property file is okay you give your whole bulk project to anyone just tell it that suppose you have to mention some system specific settings you don't have to work on this Java files just open this and check if this name and a sector what the information is correct or not okay update it and run it you don't need to compile anything okay so that's the best part of prop using the properties concept okay Thank you.